Alright, so before we get into it, I just want to sum up how things will be in the next year, most likely to be so. You gotta keep in mind guys that a lot of these companies, a lot of companies in general, will actually try to sell their stuff. So they will have to put their stuff in a really competitive price and it will give you a really competitive quality because things right now aren't as good as they should be in case of the world economy. There is a lot of inflation going on. And it will not be the case uh, for these companies because basically if they decided to higher up their prices nobody's gonna buy these things so they are kind of forced to put their things in a competitive price and let me tell you that the gpu market is actually a very competitive uh, place right now which is pretty healthy i mean you got amd you got even intel on the horizon that are trying to get their things better so they can actually make uh, a lot more sales so this is how i think about the rtx 4060 ti and this is how i'm kind of optimistic about it so we have leaks actually leaked performance uh but not by numbers by just a really trusted leaker and a leaked specs okay so when it comes to the specs it's not actually looking really good it's got the same amount of cuda cores as the rtx 3060 ti but in my opinion that's more than okay for me because basically if you had a brief thought the rtx 4070 ti is has fewer cuda cores than the rtx 3090 ti so that wouldn't make any problem for you and this got a fewer tdp a lower tdp so it's actually at around 160 watts i really love that thing because basically i would be more than fine putting this uh, gpu and a pc with a 500 watt power supply and it's got a performance of an rtx 3070 based on the leaker of course which is a pretty trusted leaker and i'll leave a link to the article down in the description on videocards.com so when it comes to the performance is this actually good i mean i really cannot tell you because the rtx 3070 ti is a pretty questionable gpu for me once you compare it to something like the rtx 3060 ti the difference in 1440p benchmarks isn't that high and the gddr 6x version there is pretty much no difference in performance so I don't know which will bring me to the pricing when this is the biggest elephant in the room in my opinion so yeah i cannot talk about the performance without talking about the pricing so a 3070 performance for a pricing which is under 500 dollars now you gotta keep in mind you don't know exactly what under 500 dollars means but to keep things in perspective the rtx 3060 ti right now goes for 400 dollars flat so yeah i would rather get a 3060 ti rather than the upcoming 4060 ti if it's for like 480 or 500 dollars i mean yes there is a lower tdp and dlss3 but if you're not using that and you didn't care about that why would you do so i mean it's not a competitive gpu which with its predecessors anyways so yeah there is that thing in there and you got, gotta keep in mind that maybe they are pulling another nvidia if you remember the rtx 4070 ti was supposed to launch for around 900 dollars and one day before the release they said that they will cut down the pricing to 800 so this is very early to actually give a judgment about and of course take all these things with a grain of salt because they are leaks they might not be 100 percent true but maybe maybe uh, before the launch of this gpu we'll find it going for somewhere under 400 dollars they will do the same thing they did with the rtx 4070 ti because at the end of the day the rtx 4070 ti and some retailers is one of the most selling gpu on the market right now so hey it was successful for them maybe they are following the same strategy even if it wasn't a strategy a marketing strategy maybe it was accidental for them but it made up a lot of money if the rtx 4060 ti is going to be for around 400 to 450 dollars and give you a 37a performance i mean that's awesome that's really good and if it retails for that price this would be more than enough for the people who love new gpus and that extra dlss3 capabilities and the lower tdp will make it a really good gpu for budget gamers so yeah these are my two cents regarding the rtx 4060 ti and this is what i think but let me know what do you think down in the comments below is this a good gpu is this not it's actually pretty early to give a judgment as i told you but maybe yeah give me your thoughts and i'll see you in the next one peace